Segwaying into a different type of a storage tank here, we have an open vent storage tank. This is a 200 gallon, it's a steel tank, and it has three coils inside of it. The bottom is actually where the solar thermal is coming in at, so this will go out to the solar collector. This top coil is where the solar thermal is going to go out to the domestic hot water, and then the side is going to be a boiler-based system. In this case, it's not going to go to a boiler, but actually using the excess heat is going to be used to heat a small room next door to where this 200-gallon tank is. So this is a common type of storage tank. It's uninsulated. It's just an enameled outside battleship gray, and the inside it's iron oxide lined inner. And you can see the original three quarter inch coil copper line, and this is actually going to the domestic hot water coil. This new coil right here is going to go to the radiant floor heat system in the room next door, and on the very bottom is going to be where the solar collectors are coming into the tank. So this is a 200 gallon tank. There's an aluminum sacrificial anode installed right here. It's not a good picture, but there's been some anodes installed there. And then if we look a little bit deeper here, you can kind of see how the layout is. So this is a uh, relatively expensive system because there's an awful lot of copper in there, but it's been rebuilt. One downside to this is that these tend to rust out a little bit faster because they are exposed to air. But the good news about this open vented system is the fact that being open it gives you time to maintain the system and redo it to keep it from falling apart on you. So this tank right here is about 35 years old. It was in great shape. It was rebuilt. There's no leaks to it and it's a fully maintained system. So just to get a look on the exterior here's the inlets. There's a bottom drain. One of the nice things that is we're finding in industry at least is that having well thought out designs make our lives easier. We can drain that water out of the system. Here's our inlet tanks, the lines, and that's a pretty typical system that we have going on here. So this is an open vent system. There will be a lid placed in chop and then we'll monitor the water level as we go through there. So this is an open system, it's 200 gallons, and there's a few quick notes that you want to take home. How do you size a storage tank? There are three main components when sizing a storage tank. The first component is how many square foot of collector that you have, and where's the geographic location of the solar thermal system. Second thing is your daily load profile. How much hot water are you going to use? Are you using that water in the evening? Are you using it in the morning? And then the third requirement is at what temperature do you need this water to be at? For example, if you're going to do a lot of space heating applications with this, you're going to generally want to have more square foot of collector to fewer gallons of water to keep that temperature higher. If you're doing this solely for domestic hot water, we can have more gallons of water in storage than collector and keep that water at a little bit cooler of a temperature down in the you know, say 110, 120 range, mainly 120 roughly, to really give us a, a good efficient thermal transfer from that solar heat exchanger out on those collectors back into your tank. A real rough, rough rule of thumb in central Illinois, northern Illinois, is about two gallons of storage for every one square foot of collector that you have. That typically gets you in the ballpark. Some folks will like to do it a, a one to one, so one square foot of collector to one gallon of storage, and that would be for very very cold locations and or for doing more than just domestic hot water heating. So you can see that there's a variety of parameters that are going to be in here. And these videos are not going to be able to give us all the parameters. A lot of that legwork will have to be done during the site assessment and by working with the local vendors such as Stiebel Eltran and whomever we're dealing with to making sure that the system is sized properly to the loads that are in the home and to the usage and functionality of that system.